Now, another Californian resident, Prince Harry, is unravelling under the stress of all the court cases and family dramas he's been under. Sources told Heat magazine he's less able to remove himself from the situation than she is, she being Meghan, as he's still clinging onto the hope of a family reconciliation that she feels isn't going to happen. It's much more painful for him because he's not been getting any proper updates on Kate or his dad, in her view, it would be a terrible idea to take another trip to the UK right now. He needs a summer of healing and non-confrontation. The magazine is also saying that Harry and Meghan have plans to leave America, Kinsey, if Trump is re-elected, with an insider saying if Trump does win, they fear he's going to cause trouble for a lot of people, not just them, but they presume they'd be high targets because he's been pretty open about his disdain for them. If he's in charge and pulling the strings with immigration, it's safe to say he'll do his best to make life as hard as possible for both of them. They fear it would be a disaster for democracy. And on a personal level, they'd have to leave America. Um, uh, that sounds like a campaign ad for Trump, Kinsey. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to scare too many people off voting for Donald Trump. Yeah, I mean, Miley Cyrus told us the same thing, and, and she's living pretty comfortably still in the United States. My favorite line, this, this came from Heat Magazine, was the Duke of Sussex is being urged by his wife to take a break. Take a break from what, his bong? Break what from does what? he do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What does he do? Um, and they said it's hard. It's hard for her to see him clinging to the walls or climbing the walls the way he's been doing. And she wants them to take a break from all the toxicity, which is wild because somebody might want to tell her that she is the toxicity. If you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. I, I, I laughed when I read that line about he needs to take a break. These two are the most underemployed uh, millionaires in <laughs> Hollywood. Uh, you really do wonder what they do to fill their days because other than venting in the media every now and then about how horrible everyone is to them, what's happening with her lifestyle website? Because that was about to take off and then we've stopped hearing about it. Or her podcast, Lemonada, announcing her podcast that she was going to relaunch a podcast. We've got American Riviera Orchard, nothing tangible on the website yet. What happened to Meet Me at the Lake? Is that in production with Netflix? Is Megan still doing her cooking show? Not, no recent shooting for Harry's polo show. It all seems very up in the air. So maybe they are literally taking a break, Rita, because where, where are they? What are they doing? <laughs> now, former Neighbours star Holly Valance has been very outspoken in her support for uh, Nigel Farage. And now she's and her billionaire husband uh, have held a fundraiser for Donald Trump at their Chelsea mansion in London. They were charging up to $40,000 per person to attend an evening with uh, Donald Trump Jr. You can see him there. And Kinsey, we hear Holly herself gave a speech along with Don Jr. She is getting rather political, isn't she? Oh, she absolutely is. She said she would campaign for Farage if he needed her help. Uh, and it was actually Farage that took her to Mar-a-Lago, where they spent over an hour with President Trump. And she said he, she couldn't believe how interested he was in them and their lives and how many questions he asked. He was, she said he was just so curious and not as um, tough as she expected him to be. So she was pleasantly surprised by him. Uh, but uh, I, I think that she really does believe in the Trump campaign along with the Farage campaign. And she said she endorses Trump because she believes if America is strong, the UK will be strong and the world will be strong. Well, she's an Australian, so we'll uh, we'll take credit for Holly, uh, that's for sure. And actress Goldie Horn has slammed Los Angeles as terrible as she and her partner Kurt Russell look to move out of Hollywood. Their home has been burgled twice in four months. You mentioned those crime stats from Los Angeles, and it seems even the rich and famous aren't immune from this lawlessness. Yeah, and it's interesting because I'm, I'm sure you've heard of Skid Row. That's the very famous block that is just, it's a homeless encampment. They've actually created a luxury apartment complex that they're hoping to move the homeless into. 8% um, of, of the homeless on that block are actually veterans. Uh, you know, are the city sprawling with homeless encampments and, and vast numbers of people mm. living in vehicles? Yep. It's just not a safe place anymore. 
You're right. It's a shadow of its former self. I was there a few years back and I could not believe the deterioration in such a short period of time. Kinsey Schofield, thank you so much for your time this evening.